Here's how you can use the cake method to find the greatest common factor or least common multiple. It's kind of like dividing with two different numbers. I can divide 48 and 72 by the number 2. So I would get 24 and 36. I can divide both of these numbers by 6. So 6 goes into 24 4 times and into 36 6 times. And I can divide both of these numbers by 2. And I would get... 2 and 2 goes into 6 3 times. Now when I get to this part, the only number I can divide by would be 1, so I would end up getting the same number, so this is where I know I can stop. So I'm going to stop here, think of them like candles on the top of the cake. To find the greatest common factor, simply take these three numbers, these are the factors you divide it by, here on the outside, and you're going to multiply them together to get your greatest common factor, 24. To find the least common multiple, you're going to take those factors again and you're going to multiply it with these here on the top. So you're going to have 2 times 6 times 2 times 2 times 3. And since we already know this is 24, let's put them together. 24 times 6 gives us 144 as the least common multiple. And that makes sense because 48 times 3 makes 144 and... 72 times 2 equals 144. And how do I know that? Well, they're right up here. So I knew that times 3 would give me 48, and times 2 would give me 72 times 2 to give me 144. And that, my friends, is how you can use this visual method to find greatest common factor or least common multiples, even if you're not great at your times tables.